Today is February 22nd, 2023. In exactly one week, it'll be March 1st, 2023. Or as I like to call it, Shake Day. The morning of March 1st was a typical morning in the Nelson house. We had spent the morning at my elementary school basketball game. My dad was the coach, my sister was the ref, my whole family was the cheering section, and I played every minute of the basketball game. As we all loved the game with smiles and giggles, none of us had any clue that our lives were forever about to change. We're about to change. We're about to change. My dad's sister and I had all gotten in our car to head home with my teammates and family behind us on the road. We debated stopping for ice cream on the way home as a celebration for the win. We decided last minute to not stop and just eat whatever we had at home. In a blink of an eye, I was laying unconscious with my sister's blood from her head dripping onto me. The only thing I could hear was the frantic crying of the family members and the traumatizing siren noises. The next thing I remember was being rushed to our first hospital while the driver of the other car that had hit us head on was being investigated for intoxicated driving. As I thought it could only get better from here, they were rushing me to my second hospital. Then my third hospital where I was put in for emergency surgery on my large intestine. The next few weeks consisted of relearning to walk, to eat, to use the bathroom, to regain the memory I'd lost, but most importantly, to regain the hope that I would once be a normal fourth grader again. With all the mental and physical pain we had went through, came the days where we received letters from our teammates, visits from our classmates, gifts from our teachers and the memory of seeing my dad and sister alive and functioning for the first time. Even though I wouldn't wish this experience upon anyone, it truly did change my whole outlook on life. While it is very hard for us three to reminisce on the fact that if only we had stopped for those shakes, maybe we would have avoided the whole car crash. But instead of letting this haunt us, we decided that every March 1st, we would go celebrate the second chance at life we were given by going to get shakes. And not only that, but having everyone we know and everyone that we love go get shakes with us. I am now a freshman in college in hopes of Sunday working at Riley's Children's Hospital to repay the second chance at life they gave me to other kids who are fighting for their lives. I am confident in saying that I will one day be the reason a kid can live a happy, healthy life they didn't think was possible. I wanted to start changing people's outlook on life earlier than when I was finally old enough to start a career. I used to dread March 1st every year. I used to want this day to be just like every other day. But now I know this day will always mean something. It will always remind me to tell my story as a way to change people's outlook on life. Each day I try to remind people to smile more just because you can, stop leaving on bad terms with people, call your loved ones, say I love you, appreciate what you are physically able to do each and every day, and to stop pushing memories off till tomorrow because tomorrow is never guaranteed. And that goes for you, for your family members, for your friends, for your teachers, for everyone. So go get a shake and celebrate how precious life really is.